from my glasses, I can see. All right, Alexa, off. Alexa, off. Alexa wants to see me yell. Love-hate relationship with Alexa. I'm like, Alexa, shut up. Okay, we won't say that. Gotta be a first for everything. I cried in my workout this morning. So a bunch of my friends are, have dogs that are getting old and passed away. COVID and my lap hurts. Just like a big storm of everything, right? In my workout group, I have so many amazing people. Even though we are not in the same room with each other, it is amazing, the energy. I'm really starting to get to know everybody and know personalities. And Pindash, whose dog passed away, and Stephanie, who's in the workout group, her dog passed away. Holly has an older dog that's sick, and then my friend Gail has an older dog that's sick. So, and I love animals. They're so innocent and loving. But on top of that, I went through a breakup about five weeks ago, and it has literally been probably the hardest thing I've ever gone through in my entire life. I don't know, my marriage kind of dissolved over 22 years, so by the time it came to divorce, I was like, meh, not that easy, but you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> this breakup of my boyfriend and I was like horrific to me, and I'm still trying to actually get over it. I haven't yet, so just in case you were wondering. So this morning, I was already having a hard time about the boyfriend breakup, and then I the dog. To top it all off, I, I hurt my lap dancing, which if you saw my video with Grigor, you guys will all get a kick out of it because he literally makes fun of me. He's like, you know, it's from all this dancing that you're doing. For the course of this week, my lap has gotten exponentially worse. Catherine, who's in our workout group, owns, here it is, it's called Nature's Bloom. She messages me, we've never met. I know that you're having so much pain in your lap. I wanna get you going on our CBD. I drove down to Old Town Scottsdale. It's on Fifth Avenue on the west side of Goldwater Boulevard to their beautiful store. Go and I meet Nate, who is awesome, knowledgeable. They have a farm in Colorado that's organic. Sent me home with a whole bag full of products because Catherine said for my lap, she says, you need this pain salve. They cannot keep it in stock. By the way, it smells freaking amazing. Dodging it into my lat. She also gave me the roll-on for my purse. The CBD oil drops four droppers under the tongue. This is a scrub. He also gave me a bath bomb. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this scrub. It makes your skin like amazingly soft. Voila, gummies. I love gummies. In fact, I think I'll have one right now. The cool part is there's an actual store, a brick and mortar store. There's 25 milligrams, I believe, in this. Yep. Sort of flavors. Ask for Nate, you get 15% off when you mention me, but the great part is you can actually go in and talk to them. When you start on CBD, you need to make sure that you're getting the right products for what you are looking to do, that you're taking the right amount and actually getting some knowledge from somebody who actually can listen to what your issues are and help you. I did get a steroid that he put in my butt. Got some steroids to take so I can be strong like bull. And I have Renee come to do the workout with. I'm gonna throw her in the front row. We're gonna make her do all the exercises. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you know who said that? Kelly Clarkson. And I think it's a perfect way to get out of here. Play what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Here's what doesn't kill you makes you stronger by Charge It's All Stones on Amazon Music. Alexa, listen to me. Play. I'm listening. Alexa, play. Who has the patience for this? I gotta practice my kickboxing just for that. Alright, you guys. 